You have changed my mourning into dancing, O Lord, and have filled me with joy. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from Mount Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, on the Sabbath day, a Sabbath day journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter, John, and James, and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All of these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. For whoever does the will of my Heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. To you. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother, who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my, my mother and my brothers, for whoever does 
the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, good morning, everyone. Today, we commemorate the feast day of Our Lady, Fatima. 100 years ago, in Fatima, Our Lady appeared to three children, the shepherds, keeping watch over their flock in the forest. The message of Our Lady was urgent, urgent for repentance, conversion, and pray for the peace of the world. And there was a special insistence on the value of praying the rosary while meditating on the most important events in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Blessed Virgin Mary. So today, all those who are baptized in the name of Jesus, namely in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, as soon as we are baptized, we become the children of God. In another way, we become his disciples. So every baptized, our Lord commissioned, as our Lord commissioned his disciples, we all are commissioned, we all are sent into the mission like his disciples. For what? To carry on his mission and ministry. Today, we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary. We commemorate Our Lady of Fatima. At the same time, we honor the three shepherd children. All those children grew in holiness because of their faith and prayer. Do you still remember Juan Dago? to whom Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared. Actually, he was just a young boy when he met with the Blessed Virgin Mary, just a kid. So today, my dear friends, great things can come from the people who are very simple and who are very humble. In another way, great things can come from the little ones, but unwavering faith. Their faith on someone, on Jesus or the Blessed Virgin Mary, was unshakable, like a house built on the rock. Today, we all are challenged to listen to the words of Jesus and the message of Our Lady. Our Lady appeared all together six times to the three shepherd children. And there is only one request that is repeated in all six appearances. The first one is, say the rosary every day to bring peace to the world and to the end of the war. And the second time, 
she said to the children, I want you to continue saying the rosary every day. On the third time, continue to say the rosary every day in honor of Our Lady of Rosary to obtain the peace of the world and the end of the war because only she can obtain it. On the fourth time, come to Kovada Uriya, my children, my children, and continue to say the rosary every day. On the fifth time, continue the rosary, my children. On the last appearance, the same message, the same request. I want you to continue saying the rosary every day, my children. My dear friends, today we are in the midst of global pandemic. Dangerous and terrible situations throughout the world. So today by celebrating the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, we are arched to pray for healing. We are arched to pray for peace, inner peace in the midst of these sufferings. We need to open our mind and our heart to the Word of God. For sure, Mary, our mother, our Lady of Fatima, will help us to overcome this global pandemic. So, especially today, this morning, let us dedicate ourselves to Our Lady, to our mother, who is the mother of the church. Pray the rosary daily as requested by our mother to become a living rosary. Let's say together, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the end of our death. Amen. Now let us say our prayer and petitions to the Lord with faith and trust. For Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop, and for all the order of bishops, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit as they govern the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the Burmese and Chin communities here at St. Barnabas, that the war may continue to safeguard them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, especially those infected with COVID-19, and for all healthcare workers, that the Lord may heal them of their afflictions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in need, particularly those who are seeking work, that they are able to find dignified work, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and all those who die this day, that they may see God face to face, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we give you thanks for your bountiful blessing, which you bestow upon us each and every day. Please, graciously hear and listen to the prayers of your sons and daughters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Abba, creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we have made, which only the work of human hands, it to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we have your fruits of the vine and walk out from your hands. It shall become our spiritual glory. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary and branch. We pray that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in this holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy day for the truth we pray by sending on your spirit on the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered well into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. The mystery of faith. We go pray for the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread through our world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Apple and Charles Abisha and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Barnabas, and with all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all these ways, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. With your Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that we should enter the world, but only to the Lord and the Lord shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep you safe and bring you to eternal life.
Rejoice, O Virgin Mother, for Christ has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Meat Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we, who honor the, mem the memory of the mother of your son, may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.